Yo, what is up guys? It's Danzio here and today I'm back with some more Call of Duty mobile gameplay and by the title you could tell that I'm basically going to be giving you guys the best tips and I guess that I would recommend for you guys if you guys want to get better at Call of Duty mobile and uh, just just things that I've learned over time for playing the beta for about like three months. So yeah, the gameplay you're watching here is a uh, scrim against Omen and they did have a sub but... It was still a very intense scrim, and I did alright in it. Uh, but anyways, let's get into some tips. So, the number one, like, way that you can improve your gameplay is by finding the best HUD and sensitivity for you. Um, I personally, for my HUD, I, I play Claw, so I have a four-finger Claw, so I have... I'm, I try to make sure that my thumb, my right thumb, uh only needs to focus on aiming my screen so my right index taps my crouch slide jump and ads and then my left index shoots and my left thumb moves so basically i'm able to do everything without really having an issue i guess uh before i used to have my jump button in the bottom right of my screen but the problem with that was is my aiming button would have my aiming thumb would have to click the jump button then switch back to aiming and obviously with that time that second of doing that is pretty bad so now i'm able to do everything possible and with sensitivity just try messing around with a uh, different like with high and low and medium senses i guess and um yeah i recommend a lot of people say do not play with aim acceleration and uh i personally play with aim acceleration because I play with a very low sense, and the reason for that is, is if I'm in a far range gunfight, I can aim really well, and if I am close range with aim acceleration, I can kind of uh, turn my screen really quickly and track people. So that's why I play with it, but if, the, the, the only downside with aim acceleration is that your aim can go really crazy um, because it's kind of like, because that's basically what aim acceleration does. like. The more longer your swipe is on your screen, the faster your sense goes. And you could basically, like I could, my sense is so small. Like if I turned off aim acceleration, I couldn't even do a 90 degree turn. But with aim acceleration, I could do like a 270 degree turn. So um, I would recommend you playing with fixed speed and just trying trying to have a fast enough sense to be able to track people far range and be able to, clo uh, to, to uh, shoot people close range. And... Um, the best way, like, leading into my second tip is, at the end of the day, you guys just have to play a lot. Just play a lot of uh, domination. And the reason for domination is because it it allows you to have the most uh, engagements. And by what I mean by engagements is gunfights. Um, it's the longing, like, once they add hard point back, then I'll recommend you guys to play that. But until then, play domination. Domination lasts more the last could last over 10 minutes long because uh, there's a first half and a second half so you're able to rank up a lot of kills and uh, uh, by doing this it'll allow you to get more fluid with your uh, HUD getting used to the buttons and where they are and secondly you're gonna get used to shooting people and get get used to your sense because when you play pubs you're gonna be put in positions that will test your sense and then you'll be able to see like if you need to up your sense a little bit or turn it down or with your HUD make adjustments that you need to. So, yeah. Third, third. this is the most important thing. If you guys really want to, like, go up through the ranked ladder and uh, become, like, a like a pro player and do really well in scrims, uh, most importantly, just like any game is, is re revolved around, is your positioning. Um, you want to make sure when you're playing that you're in a position... To take the best gunfights, if that means you being behind a head glitch or flanking people, just the best way to really play is by just outmaneuvering your opponents. Because if you're able to, like, for example, go behind a bomb head glitch and then someone has to rush you, you're, the chances of you like you make the chances of winning that fight like uh, 75 to 25 percent instead of like just taking a straight up gunfight, which is like 50 50. Um, so, so the way you move around the gunfight, move around the map, um, just allows you to win your gunfights a lot easier. Um, 
each map has their own like uh, special spots where you can camp or just position behind. Uh, as you can see right there, I just picked up an easy three kill, three three piece by just flanking them. That 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 really takes no skill. Anyone can do that, but um, that allowed us to win that round. So yeah, and uh, lastly. Just make sure you guys set goals and figure out what you want to do each day. If it's one week, you want to just practice your s sensitivity and just be like, all right, I want to try to try to improve my aim t today or whatever. And you focus on that. Uh, another thing you could do is like, I want to focus on improving my sliding and jumping and, and, and fight. So like you're going to go in pubs and you're going to try to jump in each fight you take or slide in each fight you take. So when you are against uh, better opponents that becomes more more you're just more natural to do it um movement is so important in this game being able to jump slide these are ways that you can outplay your opponent and uh and basically make it a lot harder for them to kill you um, a lot a lot like there's going to be players that you're going to be playing against that jump slide and just move so fast and you're like are they have to be playing on console but there is ways to do it. Um, and one really cool tip I could tell you guys also is uh, if you slide and click, if you scope in and out while sliding, it cancels the slide animation. But on, their, on other people's screens, it still shows you sliding. So that is something that you could abuse. Um, but in scrims, for example, people are able to hear you. Uh, because everyone runs dead silence, so you can't hear their footsteps, which allow really easy flanks to happen. But anyways, guys, those are some of the best tips I honestly could give you uh, for Call of Duty Mobile. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, please comment down below, and I'll try to respond to anything you guys are asking. Um, like I said, use these tips. Try to improve um and feel f make sure to feel comfortable with your HUD and sensitivity. Secondly, make sure that you you play a lot so you get used to those. Three, make sure to have good positioning and good movements. Make sure you're sliding, Time jumping, maneuvering around the map, taking gunfights that are a lot easier for you to win. Making making sure you have cover, a head glitch, and you're not just out in the open or doing a one v two situation. Because if you're taking a one v two situation. I mean, it's possible for you to trade with the kill, um, but usually if you're in a 1v2 against good players, you're going to die. And uh, yeah, I mean, there is outplay potential, but if you're in a 1v2 situation against good players, you will die. So yeah, anyways, make sure to tell me your concerns and your questions, and I'll be glad to answer. And just enjoy the rest of the scrim gameplay. I'll see you guys later, guys. Peace out.
Time's almost up. The bomb has been planted. Enemy UAV spotted.
and the objective.